So what's happening? Uh, this took a long time. Uh, I've been in HPS for 30 years, which is a long time. Uh, I started off as pretty much one of the first, if not the first real technology person uh, at the Harvard Business School. I uh, spent a lot of time trying to convince some people that technology companies someday might be worth as much as General Motors and essentially being laughed at. Uh, and uh, essentially, you know, over the last few years, we've had all these waves of investment in technology that we have uh, consistently criticized and laughed at and, you know, the, how long it takes to implement SAP and all that kind of good stuff. But one of the things that's really fascinating about what's happened so far is that all of a sudden uh, we have a real infrastructure that is capturing sort of digital signals and transmitting them across our entire economy. Uh, and it's really hit critical mass. All of a sudden, after you know, a couple of trillions of dollars worth of investments, right, we really have a fabric that's changing the structure of our economy. It's changing the structure of our society in different ways. Uh, it's kind of another interesting picture. Uh, this one was uh, uh, scanned in 1957. And it's actually the first uh, digitally uh, scanned photograph. right? And uh, one of the things to start from is that when a signal is digitized, something really unique happens uh, to it. Because uh, analog sort of, uh, unlike our traditional sort of analog things, or physical objects, or analog signals, there's some properties of digital signals that really change everything. Because once you digitize something like this, what you can do is you can replicate it. Uh, and you can replicate it essentially at zero cost and you can replicate it perfectly, right? So you can have a website in Boston and have exactly the same web page rendered in Bangalore and it looks exactly the same and it's an exact replica one with the other. Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect replication technology uh, which is it's kind of the only one. It is a zero marginal cost or near zero marginal cost technology and those things change everything, right? Because all of a sudden we go from a position where uh, you know, everything has to be in some ways uniquely crafted, manufactured, and you uh, service uh, 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 to, to something that can be replicated and connected and um, uh, transmitted into networks that go around the world and, and, uh, and provide all kinds of new opportunities for business, uh, for economics, and for, you know, social interaction um, and political interaction increasingly as we're seeing as well. The other thing that's interesting that happens is that once you digitize the picture, uh, you can actually improve it, uh, which is a really strange thing. Uh, when we think about sort of all of a sudden you stick it through a sort of, you know, basically a neural net machine learning algorithm, it's well trained, you can take the picture and give it more life. Uh, you can actually improve things uh, with digital technology, which is an unusual thing, right? Uh, when we all think about organizational learning, uh, learning organizations, right? We don't usually think of them as a bunch of algorithms, right? But when you shop on Amazon, the Amazon algorithms that's out there setting price and doing various things learns constantly, serves up new pictures, new figures in real time. Uh, in some ways, it's a new kind of neural learning organization, right? So digital technology can connect things at zero marginal cost, can transmit things essentially free, free of cost, can improve over time. And as a result of this, we have increasingly Right? A society that is, has connections everywhere, that has things that are improving on a dimension and on a scale that we can't necessarily observe. Right? There's all the stuff going on behind the surface that we can't really see that is changing the way that our society and our economy works in a profound way. Um, the, the economy, and this is, we'll unpack this, um, is gradually evolving into this massive network of things where you know, traditionally we've had these concepts that have enabled all of us to drive uh, strategies and implementations. This thing's called industries, right? Uh, and the, you know, the consulting profession is based on industry analysis, right? Michael Porter, Five Forces, all that kind of great stuff. When the economy begins to look more and more like a network, right? where the competition can come at you from any kind of direction from before. Very different looking organizations competing for the same user, for the same customer, for the same value. You have a fundamentally different uh, kind of setting and a fundamentally different kind of uh, challenge. Um, 
And uh, it has broad-based uh, implications that cut across a lot of different levels of management, implications for leadership, implications uh, as we starting to understand more and more uh, for you know, pol political and social systems as well.